What is up, DTube? So today I want to talk a little bit about why Hex is an industry of potential. So I want to talk a little bit about this concept of, um, yeah, that Hex just is an industry of potential. And that is kind of how I want to label it. So what do I mean with that? Well, first we have this aspect, which I would like to call in uh, that I also have heard other people talk about, that is this aspect that humans basically need a story, they need a narrative or something that they can kind of, uh, that they can, or let's say a vision or something like that. And I think that Hex kind of is an industry of potential. I think that's kind of like an interesting vision in many ways. Now, what is kind of different? So. I mean, a lot of stories, a lot of other old stories uh, about the world and so on, a lot of those kind of stories are kind of dying off because people are using more logic and they're questioning stuff maybe a little bit more than uh, what they maybe would have done 50 years ago or something like that. So you kind of uh, get this window of opportunity for kind of new stories to come in. Now, we have had a few stories for example in crypto and uh, a lot of them hasn't really worked out that well many many times because you haven't really had competent people and uh, you haven't had consistent people or you haven't had passionate people now what 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 makes hex kind of different well and why would it may be like an industry of potential and what do i mean with that well, first of all, if you search for the word industry, if you go to Google and define that word, it's basically economic activity concerned with the processing of raw materials and manufacture of goods in factories, or similar words, manufacture, production, fabrication, construction, or other, other words, if you would define it would be, a, let's say, hard work. Okay, so... What's kind of interesting here with Hex is it kind of uh, is one of these things that kind of begins this new kind of, uh, let's say, time period of um, digital money printing with using smart contracts, something we never have had in the past. So money printing is really interesting, right? So what do, so industries like physical industries, they usually have, okay, so they have like production, they have like, um, it's all about economic activity and, and producing something new. And what you have here uh, with Hex, which is kind of interesting is you can create these coins from nothing and give them to people that uh, follow this, the rules of the smart contract and, and we're going to have more of these printing coins coming up with cool game theories where people are creating coins out of nothing and you're kind of creating this industry here where so you, you have a lot of um, a lot of things you're creating from nothing which eventually can flow into industries in uh, in very very in interesting ways so we usually haven't had this in the past. Uh, most people, they do not know even that we starting to have now smart contracts that can print value from nothing. And, uh, and, it, and it's really interesting because why it's uh, an industry, why I would call it an industry above, um, above something else is because when you're running the math, uh it seems like a staker just because hex is designed with the share price to have this exponential positive side for people that are doing longer stakes which means they probably gonna have more value than they even could imagine now no expectations but i mean now i'm just talking about it from a design perspective so it works in exponential ways that it gives more hex the longer you stake. So that kind of opens up for 
per people to kind of look at things in from a different uh, paradigm shift perspective because in in the old paradigm people always have been in this mode of uh, scarcity that the max thing they can do is maybe do a small business or i mean there were a few that could do some super cool things uh, or even then had like super cool visions about stuff but in general people were talking max about maybe uh, getting a house or maybe a cool car but i think that the value these um, money print smart contracts can create is and actually is more of an industry because in many ways they can actually a lot of this value eventually can flow into creating an industry that never was there before because when you can create something from from nothing and if it's highly successful if it if the hex game theory proves to be super successful you have this super powerful machine that used that just sits there and is just creating stuff out of nothing and there's no human behind the scenes that kind of do crazy stuff all the time like in the real world with a lot of uh, printing stuff you have a lot of manual human intervention in a lot of things that's not something that you have in in a locked smart contract it just likes it it just works like a machine uh, it just follow the rules of the network and it's really interesting when you have that because because eventually uh, you have this potential to build a whole industry then around something. If something becomes super, super successful and uh, it can create stuff from nothing and uh, eventually if you combine it with a lot of other things, yeah, you, you have this very, the most, interesting value generator tool ever created and and if that is i'm not sure if that's going to be what hex is we don't know uh what it what it's going to be but uh at the moment it seems so for example when i do the math uh, at the moment it seems like hex is moving 6x faster than bitcoin and i've also done the math that kind of shows that it moves like 8x faster than Chainlink and maybe 5x faster than Ethereum and we do know that if you look at um, the lowest point of Bitcoin to the highest point 32 million x and if it moves 5x faster and if it would keep doing that based on the old data I mean what Bitcoin would do in maybe 30 years then uh, I don't let's see here so what bitcoin would do in 30 years hex would do if it would follow the same pattern it would do that in five years and that may sound like a small deal but it's not so or actually i mean it depends on who you are but uh, that is actually a big deal that instead of doing something in 30 years it uh, is doing it in five years and that is an extreme speed up of stuff which means that in theory people can do stuff that people couldn't imagine even imagine in in their mind so most of the people in uh, in this space they're mainly talking about it from the perspective of n not from the vision perspective or not from the industry perspective but they're more talking about it from getting one house or doing one thing for themselves well, I try to look at it more from the scalability perspective because, I mean, we're moving up to 10 billion humans. So there may be a lot of cool things you can eventually do if you can build an industry uh, way uh, instead of just... Um, instead of just having some, uh, some small time holders. So yeah i mean and again i mean that's one of the reasons why i kind of loved uh love to come in into this industry 2018 uh, was this concept of uh, scalability like that was the thing that kind of um, made me the most excited when uh, when i kind of got introduced to this industry first 
where you could like do videos and kind of get tokens and oh wow we can actually create value from nothing now and uh, that was not with a smart contract that was with uh, uh, other kind of tokens and uh, the, the production aspect I find is very very interesting so so one way you can see hex in terms of industry I mean you can both do stuff in the real world with with an industry you can make changes to physical stuff in the real world you can actually manufacture and produce stuff in the real world but you can also have virtual industries and um, one thing that kind of has uh, been interesting with hex is uh, how a lot of video has been uh, has been has been um, created, uh, which has made the story and division about Hex pretty pretty interesting, compared to let's say a lot of these things that started like Bitcoin for example or Ethereum for example, where there was not that much video used uh, from uh, from a lot of people that were kind of doing those things. They were a little bit more let's say secrecy. Maybe people didn't have as good cameras. So in a way that made those industries kind of a little bit more, or can, can you say maybe, maybe, I mean, those, those, those projects looks a little bit more boring when, when you have like less, uh, less video just in general. In video in a way you can call it maybe a virtual industry and how a lot of hexagons has used a lot of video to experiment with uh, strengthening the he the hex uh, the hex vision i would say and uh, so you can have like physical industries that you can like scale and so on but you can also scale you can also scale virtual industries and uh, a very very interesting way of scaling stuff of course is using the best medium which i think is video and which i see a lot of hex scans are doing and they're playing around with doing a cool uh, titles they are playing around with cool thumbnails they're playing around with doing interesting new engaging content and it's very interesting how you can grow industries in various ways getting followers on different platforms and kind of combining a lot of things and kind of seeing if you can create something new so yeah i think it is you have this potential uh you have this potential of, of creating something new and that is what i kind of think is exciting with uh with let's say the hex story and the hex smart contract how we know that it is uh it is an audited contract and um we we also know that people know that it is no promises and uh, we also know that it is uh one of those projects that has the most uh, amount of interesting data which makes it even more engaging to follow so like hex vision hex info.io hex data these websites where you can hex.live where you can see all this very very exciting data about how something is doing and uh, i think that also kind of strengthening this idea of uh, of it kind of being an industry where a lot of people even virtually are like observing the project kind of in real time and kind of seeing how it performs and then they can kind of engage also and uh, and they can like decide if they want to be a conscious actor in uh, in strengthening the hex vision or if they just want to be uh, a passive observer it's more like a real time and i talked a little bit about this it's like a real time netflix or real time movie or like a real time tv show that you can be a part of and um and, and since you have this value production system that that works on auto you also have solved uh, eventually so people have more free time to kind of explore being a human and um they can kind of move more to become a master in something that they truly want to do instead of um, instead of being so obsessed with a lot of nonsense which uh, a lot of people have to do a lot of nonsense because they don't have time over for other things maybe they haven't really managed their life so in in such a good way 
But when you have these automated machines eventually, and I would call Hex smart contract in a way like a virtual machine, uh, and these just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes, and uh, you combine you combine the the, uh, the potential of doing stuff in the real world, uh, changing stuff in the real world in ways that people couldn't even imagine in the past because in the past they didn't really have the value in those kind of same ways. But now you kind of are moving in some ways maybe beyond time. Uh, time in some ways probably is, uh, people probably get an experience of a speed up of time when they see how value creation can be done in uh, in uh, way more effective ways than uh, people could even imagine like 10 years ago or something like that. I don't even think most people could imagine smartphones maybe 15 years ago or something like that. So it's always kind of, um, yeah, it's almost already, it's um, kind of changing and everything. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, I like this concept of the potential of Hex being like an industry and that you may see a lot of interesting stuff in the real world uh, being done because of Hex. And, uh, and yeah, people have incentive, I think, with Hex to create a really interesting story because, um, because most of them, <laughs> on average, they have... Um, they have stakes that is uh, five years on average. So that means it is hex for many people is kind of like a marriage. It's 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 this long-term thing, which means they're probably gonna be busy doing a lot of other things in the real world. And uh, eventually they can probably start to see patterns and maybe see how they can find these things they can do in the real world, maybe to i mean they can do so much more right eventually probably because if let's say if this is a massive success if it keeps on being a massive success and if it is exponentially better than other things and if it is 100x better value generator tool than a lot of other things it kind of is pretty obvious that it, it that it becomes like an industry because a lot of other things that also creates value, but 100x slower, a lot of those things have turned into industries and they've done a lot of interesting things, both in the physical world and also I would say maybe in the virtual world, even though I think in the virtual world, maybe people have been a little bit, little bit lazy. I mean, the virtual world is still, and the digital world is still something that is uh, extremely new if, if we look at it from like a thousand year time scale. And the, the internet, extremely new, uh, World Wide Web and so on. It is, what is it, like 30 years or something like that. That's not that long time if you look at it um, from an industry perspective and people are experimenting still with these digital devices to see how can they use them in, uh, in better ways, how can they use them in ways they haven't really, haven't really tried to use them in the past. I mean, in general, Hex just speeds up a uh, a consumer-run world where people are probably going to go and find interesting stories they love and um, they're going to probably double down on the stories that they love and try to uh, scale those kind of stories and probably be a part of those stories. And uh, this is usually not something maybe you hear other people talk about that much who knows but uh i love the concepts of um i love the concepts um uh, the uh, about this industry this industry idea and that that controlling a human is no longer basically the success it's basically just like okay if we can give you a device if you can make numbers go up in that device you are a success and a lot of people are not even aware of it. They are not barely aware that smart contracts exist because it's something that's super new, and uh, it is still very, very, it's still very, very complex for for the average human to grasp. And it's it's um, it's even complex for people that are that are involved in the space because it's changing from month to month, 
and uh, yeah, but it is uh, it is very exciting. Most of the stuff in the industry is nonsense. Hex is a, what I would say true DeFi because it actually works hundred percent as the logic uh, the, 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 <laughs> what the logic say in uh, if if you go and uh, kind of have a look at the contract. We haven't noticed anything strange about that because I mean anyone can go and, ex and inspect the code and a lot of people have done it and I think even three companies have like audited it. I know at least two companies have done it and uh, if they're kind of fine with it and they are being paid and they're like experts in the industry then that's kind of cool because a lot of these other things are pretty boring. Uh, and even like I look at these other stories, people having crypto, how they're still in this, these other kind of stories, which is, which is way boring. They're, they're, as I talked a little bit about in the past, they're aiming too low. They're either just looking at liquidity or they're still looking at life from this scarcity perspective. They do not realize how much value you can create if you have a larger vision. And one of the reasons why I have it easier to see larger vision ideas and concepts is because I have been having a YouTube channel for 10 years with almost 10,000 videos and um, about smartphones, reviewing new smartphones. And you kind of learn a lot about scale then how if you can scale something and if you can scale a story, then... Uh, that's very exciting. It's very exciting from 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 all sides because people people like novelty. They like good stories. They like something new to happen. And um, if it actually is the case that we have this interesting value generator tool that may just exponentially be better than other things, that's very cool. Uh, and I think a lot of people would want to be a part of it. It's just that it takes some time. It, it takes a lot of um, it takes a lot of work to kind of get people going but once people get going and they like something and they get excited about something it's it's kind of easy to keep on doing something so yeah uh, I like this idea that I think Hex has a lot of interesting potential and uh, how it goes depends a lot about decisions humans are doing and how they are kind of looking at things and we kind of have to see how that kind of plays out uh, the next couple of years if uh, more cool stuff maybe comes out or I don't know but uh, yeah that's what I want to talk a little bit about today hopefully some of it kind of makes sense this concept of hex has this potential or has this hex uh, as an industry hex, hex has a potential to be like an industry of potential I both virtually and in the physical world I, I love that idea and uh, I talked a little bit about a lot of these concepts in the past uh, for example 2018 I talked a little bit about this is a trillion dollar man coming soon and uh, and if I go back and watch those videos I think they're amazing uh, I think that a lot of the stuff I talked about kind of seems to be turning true uh, I talked already in my 2018 vlogs, I talked a little bit about these concepts about the uh, the computing power decade that would be 2020s and kind of um, and kind of moving uh, beyond there and uh, and that is also turning true with with these new kind of smart contracts. I saw for example today that ERC20 tokens on Ethereum they have now higher market cap than um, than ETH itself and we can kind of see and I think that if eventually Hex and they didn't even count Hex because many of these services they kind of still gatekeep Hex and uh, it, it was on a very cool website I mean mm, I think they're a little bit better than Cointelegraph it's called I, I would say for crypto information decrypt and they have stories covering Hex a little bit uh DeFi polls they kind of gatekeep hacks but it was very <clears throat> it was very interesting to see how ERC20 tokens are uh have now a larger market cap than Ethereum which kind of makes sense in many ways because Ethereum is down 85% and 
doesn't really have that good price action and it's not really designed for max appreciation in uh, in hex it's kind of designed to try to for trying to design it in a way for max appreciation and then we don't really know how it's going to play out but a lot of people are kind of happy with 6000% up since all time low uh, at the moment now if you go and look in, on hexinfo.io you can see it's up 6000% since all time low this year kind of cool at the same time as people are printing and that doesn't even add in the trustless interest or the big payday coming later this year or how the share price kind of works but um yeah uh i have always loved the idea of manufacturing production creating stuff creating new stuff it was very cool as i talked a little bit about in another video seeing hex in the physical world on a premier league game and uh, on, on a professional football game that was very very exciting because you see that wow something new is happening here nobody has seen usually any other coin on a premier league uh, advertisement so it's kind of cool to see kind of new things happening and i used to remember well when downloading stuff how was all for me it was very exciting to see that kind of loading bar go up and seeing something new happening for example when you completed a download very very exciting i would say to see a download being completed and uh, i kind of get the same feel about hex how it's exciting to see trustless interest change from day to day it's exciting to see what the what the share price is doing it's exciting to see how long time people people are staking for and um, as people have talked about yeah it forces you to um it wants you to it forces you in some ways to kind of stay engaged or wanting to be a little bit engaged in in the community or checking in a little bit sometimes about what what goes on while other stuff is you see hex is complete it kind of makes it easier to be more satisfied because it's complete uh there is like no more and they yeah but it's fun seeing these numbers go up and it's like a virtual virtual production of awesomeness yeah so that's what i want to cover a little bit hopefully enjoyed have a great day dtube